Well, hello boys and girls, we got back inside and got uh, Gracie and Simba some water and we're all just sort of cooling off from being outside on our walk this morning, but we're all doing well. So today we are going to talk about uh, another shape. We talked about uh, circle, square, triangle and rectangle on Monday. Yesterday we talked about pentagons. Remember pen? is half of 10, which is five, okay? So if you have a uh, pensicle, am I saying that right? A bicycle means two, so bi means two. Um, uni means one, so a unicycle would have one wheel. If you had a uh, pensicle cycle, okay, like a bicycle with it would have five wheels if you called it a pensicle. And we're going to talk today about the hexagon, which means six. And I'll put together a little stop motion movie about that today and I'll post it later. So here we go. So this is our, I have my paper here. We're going to write about the hex, hex, ah. Gone today and a hexagon hex means six the number six and I'll print the number six too okay and to draw a hexagon now a hexagon could really be any six-sided figure so I could draw like kind of a crazy hexagon and maybe you should try this today so I'm going to do sort of a weird hexagon. Let's see. So let's get this counter size. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That is actually a hexagon. But that was not easy to recognize that. So I'm going to draw the regular hexagon. Okay, and a regular hexagon, maybe when I draw it, I'm going to draw a line like this, line like this, it sort of looks like that 11, like equal side that fell on its side, and then I'm going to draw like a V side here, and a V that fell over here, and that, boys and girls, is a hexagon, and quite often you'll see if you work with nuts and bolts, hexagons will be this shape here because um, you can put a wrench on them. Okay, maybe I'll just draw a wrench here and that will fit on there. And I haven't drawn a very good wrench, but anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so your challenge today would be to draw something with a hexagon. And maybe I will draw a hexagon monster truck so I'm gonna draw my I'm gonna draw my two V's on their side first, opposite one another. And this takes some practice to do hexagons. Not easy. Okay, this one I'll draw my top and my bottom. And then I'll do my V's. I'll make these big monster truck wheels. That would be a rough ride for sure. Okay, and then I'm gonna use some of the other shapes that uh, we've looked at, so I'm going to draw a big rectangle body on this. So there's our rectangle body, and maybe I'll try to draw a pentagon for a cab. So I'll draw, come up here, come up here, I have one, two, one, two, three sides so far, and then I got to put a little top on it, and we should have a we should have a roll cage on there in case our in case our monster truck flips over. Okay, and that can be a triangle. And we haven't done any squares yet, have we? Actually, we have circles too. So why don't I put a square window in here? There we go. And have I got all? So I have a circle, a square, a rectangle, a triangle. We have a pentagon and we have a hexagon and we should probably put some uh, suspension on this too because we might be going over some rough things so I'm going to use triangle suspension here and maybe some triangle suspension here and maybe up front as well. All right. 
right. And as a bonus, you could count how many sides. That's going to be tricky. Okay, so on our hexagon, hex means six. So we'd have six here, six here. A, our triangles are each three. Oh boy, this is getting to tough math. You don't need to get this complicated. There's a four on a rectangle, four on a square. We have five sides on our pentagon and three up here. That's some pretty tough math. But anyway, you could give it a go. Now, something else interesting about hexagons, I'm just going to go to our computer here, is there's a lot of hexagons in nature, okay? So a beehive is actually all the spots where they put the pollen and the honey. I don't know that much about this, but they are actually hexagons. This is a place in Northern Ireland, okay? And this is called the Giant Causeway. And the rocks have come up. I don't know that much about it. I almost visited it once, but uh, we didn't quite make it with my dad. And the rocks have actually shaped hexagons naturally um, hundreds of thousands, probably millions of years ago. A wasp nest is hexagons. And look at this turtle shell. This is a sea turtle. And look at the hexagons there. And this is an experiment. I might actually try this later. But if you were to blow some, make some soap bubbles, um, they'll come out round. But once they squish together, they actually will turn into hexagons. So maybe we can try that later. Anyway, good luck, boys and girls. Thank you for all your work. And we will talk to you soon. Have a good day. Be careful outside. Drink lots of water. Be careful with your pets. Okay, stay in the shade if you go out, but, uh, you know, certainly get outside, have some fun, but just be careful. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.